it's Lily here from Shine Bright Diamonds 2023 and I'm coming to you today with a with and chat which is very different than the normal YouTube videos that I tend to post but I thought it would be fun for, for me to put together a with and chat and answer some of the diamond painting tag questions that have been going around with other diamond painting YouTube creators. So um, I don't normally do whip and chat, so this one might be a little on the rocky side, so bear with me. But um, today we are going to be working on, or you'll have the opportunity uh, to see me work on this diamond painting here, which is Year of the Dragon from Diamond Art Club. All right. Uh, this one I think I've talked about quite a bit here. It's by Christina Six Leaf Clover Yen. Sorry. See, you can see here. Um, so this diamond painting, you've seen me chat about it quite a bit because it is a larger diamond painting and the larger diamond paintings tend to take me a while. Uh, earlier this week, I had posted my unboxing of the new Diamond Art Club storage containers. And in that video, I had also talked about how I was re-kitting this one up into the storage containers. So for preference, that video came out on Monday. It is now Wednesday, July 17th, and I am in full swing of working on this diamond painting with the Diamond Art Club storage containers. So here's what it looks like, and I do apologize. Um, my camera is like super close, but just to show you. So I'm gonna keep my storage container off to the side simply because I have a very small space that I am diamond painting on. So that, I need some space here. Um, so you'll see those sort of in use today, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm trying to think what else should I do before I get into my actual diamond painting. I guess I should talk about what I'm using, haha. -ha. So using wise release papers, I am using from Bee's Crafty Corner. So you're gonna see some dragon themed release papers, which is a lot of fun. I have two pens that I will be switching in and out of. So the first one is from Creations Dobell. This one is the classic um, six placer from Diamond Art Club. I personally love multi-placing with a six placer, but for if there is any color blocking, I also have this pen from Bistro Exclusives. This is an aerial Little Mermaid themed pen and it has a 12 placer on the back of it. I always keep a single placer, whoops, in my pens. So those are the pens that I'll be using. Uh, the tray, my go-to company is Yellow Dog Designs. They're from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. To be honest, I don't know how many of their trays I have because I am obsessed with them. But you will see Yellow Dog Design trays. So I do have the regular one. If it's confetti heavy section, I do always keep a narrow tray off to the side ready to use. And finally, the putty in my pens is from Creations Morin. And this is Caribbean Coconut, which is awesome for summer. So those are the supplies that I am using. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. And we're gonna be looking at this section here. We'll see how far we get. I don't know, we'll see. I've never, normally when I'm diamond painting, I'm honestly either watching YouTube or Netflix, listening to a podcast or an audiobook. I don't normally talk while diamond painting, so <laughs> this is gonna be a true test of what I'm capable of doing. Uh, da, da, da. So uh, we'll start with some of these questions. We'll see how far I get with them. I don't want this to be a crazy long video. So it might be a situation where I might do half the questions today and then complete the other half in another video. We'll see what happens. But yeah, because I think there's like 25 questions, I think. And those of you who have been on my channel for a while, you know that I tend to talk and get distracted. So I will do my best to stay on topic. Okay, so before I get into the questions, let me grab a color here. Um, I'm gonna go with the L, 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 L. Okay, so before I get into it, um, earlier this week I did post a video where I showed you what 
the new Diamond Art Club storage containers looked like when they were kitted up. So I've been using them for the past couple of days. I like them. I'm not going to lie. Like, I do like them. My only regret, and you can see here, sort of, is um, I didn't think to wash these or wipe them down with um, dryer sheets. So there is static in them. But I know for next time. Okay. But overall, I really like them. Whoopsie. See? Popping drills. I'm still getting used to pouring things. Uh, simply because I am super clumsy. So bear with me here. But anyway, let me get this organized. Boom, boom. Okay. So for those of you that are new, I guess I should have said this. Those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. Uh, welcome, welcome. This is what I'm talking about when I say I get distracted very easily. Um, so welcome to my channel. Like I said, my name's Lily. And let's get through these questions. So you can get to know the person behind the uh, unboxing videos. So the first question, how many diamond paintings do have you completed? Oh my goodness. I'm going to be honest. I have no idea. No idea. Um, I'm trying to think. Diamond Art Club, I did one, two, three, four, five. This is going to be my sixth Diamond Art Club canvas. Um, uh, I want to say maybe around 10 diamond paintings that have been completed. Maybe. I don't know. For sure 10. If not, maybe 12. Simply because I work a little bit on the slower side. As you can see, I'm single placing today because I'm trying to talk and place drills and single placing just seems like the safer option. But I wanna say anywhere between 10 to 12 diamond paintings I have completed. And I wanna say that that is a combination of both licensed and unlicensed diamond paintings because I really only got into licensed diamond paintings or like discovered them in maybe June of 2023. So it's really only been a year that I've discovered the licensed diamond paintings. Um, yeah, up until that point, I was very sporadic with actually working on diamond paintings and completing them. Okay, question number two. How many diamond paintings do you currently have in your stash? Oh, that is quite the question. So, I can tell you right now, I have a lot of unlicensed diamond paintings in my stash, probably around 10 of them. Um, yeah, I wanna say I have maybe around 10 unlicensed diamond paintings in my stash, and those would be diamond paintings that I had bought either off of Amazon or Timu. Um, primarily during the period when I had first discovered diamond painting, in terms of my licensed diamond paintings, I want to say that I have around 20 of them. Um, simply because I want to say 20 licensed diamond paintings coming from primarily Diamond Dots, Diamond Art Club, and most recently Oraloa. And from that 20, I want to say I have about a 50-50 mix of Diamond Art Club and Diamond Dots. So I have quite a bit to do considering, but I keep seeing things that I like and I'm like, no, 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 I need to work on what I have. But anyway, okay, number three, when did you begin diamond painting? Tell us your DP backstory. Oh my goodness, that's a fun one. So I started diamond painting in July of 2021 so I've been diamond painting for about three years uh pretty much started it's actually really funny how it started so I used to be really into it, coloring and I still am I still really enjoy coloring I do have a lot of um coloring books and a lot of coloring pencil crayons and markers but I really love to do color by numbers and the coloring books by Millie Murado and Johanna, what's her name? Johanna Bassford. Okay, so that's me with coloring. 
And I remember that it was during COVID when the store sort of reopened again, going to Michael's and just being like, I need new pencil crayons. And I'll never forget going into Michael's, looking at pencil crayons and doing what I do, get distracted. And somehow I had come home with a paint by number. <laughs> And I had never done paint by number before, but I was like, oh, if I like doing color by number, so uh, why don't I try a paint by number? And um, clearly color by number did not go well because I ended up on YouTube looking at techniques and how to make color by number a little easier. I was struggling. And somehow under that there was a recommended video and it was someone was diamond painting and I was like I like color by number I don't like paint by number could I do diamond painting which is in my head dotting by number and I got into it like I was watching videos of people doing this craft and I was like oh yeah this this seems good uh, but part of me was like do I need another hobby because I have, I'm a crafter, I'm gonna be honest, um, but I tend to float around with the crafts and the only craft that to this day I have a ton of supplies for is coloring. Now it's diamond painting, but that's another story. So I didn't know if I really wanted to get into diamond painting because I was sort of like, this could become a new obsession, it could spiral out of control, jump ahead to my birthday. My birthday is in July and my brother had actually gotten me for my birthday a diamond painting and of course I fell in love with it. I absolutely adored it. I ended up buying more diamond paintings off Amazon because at the time I did not know about licensed and unlicensed artwork. I didn't know about some of the other companies. I just knew Amazon. Um, so yeah that's how I got into diamond painting and then eventually I was you know scrolling on YouTube and of course as YouTube does what YouTube does uh, more and more diamond painting videos popped up and I had eventually discovered diamond art club and diamond dots and uh, the rest is history and here I am been diamond painting for three years and when I'm not diamond painting I am coloring and when I'm not coloring I am knitting <laughs> so uh, yeah or reading those are my other hobbies okay so if you could only purchase from one diamond painting company for the rest of your life who would you purchase from and why <sighs> that's a hard question um, honestly so I'm in Canada and I've done diamond paintings now from Diamond Dots, Diamond Art Club, and Paint Gem. I have Oraloa in my stash, but I have not yet worked on an Oraloa piece. So of those three, I think the company I would, if I could only pick one, it would have to be Diamond Art Club. Especially now that Diamond Art Club offers um, like those mini what are they called mini dazzles where it's like the six mini diamond paintings um i would probably choose diamond art club just because every diamond painting that i've done that has been diamond art club has been such a joy to work on i've never had any issues um with it so i think i would choose diamond art club right now that might change once I test and actually do an Oraloa diamond painting. Um, but Diamond Art Club also ships really nicely to my area of Canada. I've never had any issues with shipping, so that's another big thing. And there's also a lot of um, artwork that Diamond Art Club offers that I like. So as of right now, if I could only pick and buy from one diamond painting company, we're gonna go with Diamond Art Club. I knew I forgot a little drill. Okay, but yeah, so that's where I'm at right now. 
Now before I do the next question, I need a new color. Da, da, da. And I do apologize how close this camera is. Okay, there we go. Oh, I have like a piece of trash. Don't like that. Okay, so next color that I want to do, I want to do this like triangle looking thing. Where is that? Triangle. Okay, so that is this one, 898. That's what we're going to do next. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I'm still getting used to the pouring, so I'm still super slow with that. Okay, so I think we're on question number five. So question number five is, when diamond painting, what is your go-to media to consume? Audiobooks, podcasts, YouTube, etc. So honestly, when I am diamond painting, I will watch YouTube, which is mainly other diamond painting YouTubers. Um, I really enjoy watching Diamonds and Washi, so Katie from Diamonds and Washi, um, Aliza from the Diamond Stitcher. Who else do I watch, actually? Let's let's take a moment and take a look at who else I watch, because I can't remember. Like, there's so many people that I love to watch from. So, let me go to my subscriptions here. So. I, yeah, so I do watch a lot of Diamonds and Washi, The Diamond Stitcher. Um, I watch Alyssa from Menic Arts and Crafts, Michaela Renee, Emeralds and Fairy Lights, and Crafting with Shay. So those are the top ones that I tend to watch. If they don't have any videos or I'm like caught up on their videos, then I will most likely either be watching some reality TV show off of Netflix. Um, I think it was like yesterday I finished The Perfect Match on Netflix, so now I need a new reality TV show. So if any of, anyone has any recommendations, drop it in the comments. And if I'm not watching one of my reality TV shows off Netflix, then I tend to listen to different audiobooks that I've borrowed from the library. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But most of the time it's YouTube. Like there are so many YouTubers that I like to watch after the ones I just listed. So normally there's always a video or something for me to watch. But yes, that's what I do the most of. And then on the rare occasion, I end up watching like true crime or criminal minds. Criminal minds is a big one that I'll watch big time okay so next question number six what is your favorite category to diamond paint landscapes fantasy animals etc is it bad for me to say I don't know because when I'm coloring I love to color animals and landscapes but when it comes to diamond painting I don't like landscapes I don't have a lot of animals in my diamond painting stash actually you know what I think it's fantasy because like right now I'm working on year of the dragon which is a giant dragon okay I'm back I do apologize the um, phone that I'm using to record on the battery died so uh, before that had happened I was answering the question about what type of diamond paintings that I prefer to work on are and I was saying how for me it's fantasy at least I think it is simply because I have a lot of fantasy diamond paintings in my stash. Like right now I'm working on Year of the Dragon, which is a dragon. I had just finished Spring Garden Gnomes and gnomes are fantastical creatures. Um, and even like, I have a lot of witches and like magical creatures or fantasy type settings and stuff. So I think for me it might be fantasy. I've never really actually thought about the type of diamond paintings that I work on. Um, yeah I'm gonna go with fantasy and probably fantasy portraits. Um, and I say fantasy portraits because I do have three Margaret Morales diamond paintings in my stash and they are the three that had come out during Black Friday. So it was Dragon Spirit, Satura, and Anahimi I think it's how you say it. 
and I would say that each of those are fantasy portraits. And I know I have some of her other paintings on my wish list. Um, for example, like Chroma, Inside Watery Eyes, and I would consider those to be fantasy too. So I'm gonna go with fantasy for that one. Hardcore, preferred diamond paintings are fantasy. Okay, number six. What's the artist you have completed the most diamond paintings from? I'm gonna be honest, none. <laughs> because I've only done one you may, one, I had, yeah, I've completed one you may art and I have another one in my stash. Yeah, no, it's just the one. I have, I've never doubled up on completing a diamond painting by the same artist, which is funny because in my stash, I have quite a bit of Miss Holly, Margaret Morales, and You May Art. So I mean, if we're talking about actual completions, it's one of each from them. But in terms of what's in my stash, it's duplicates. That's a little confusing, but yeah. So yeah, no, I've never done multiples of the same artist to be completed yet. Okay, number eight. What is the artist you own the most diamond paintings from? That is tricky. I think it might be a tie between Margaret Morales and Miss Holly. Um, for Miss Holly, I have Yule, Wilhelmina's Nook, um, Little Baker, Margaret Morales, I have three of hers. Yeah, it's a combination. It's actually a tie, Margaret Morales and Miss Holly. Those seem to be my go-to artists. Okay, so number nine, what is your go-to wax when diamond painting? Go-to putty. If you use neither, what is your go-to? Okay, so this is, <laughs> this is an interesting one. So I'm gonna close the, oh, no, we've got two more to go. And I keep knocking the camera, I apologize. All right, so go-to putty is Creations Moren. So they are a small shop out of Quebec, Canada. I use their putty the most. However, when it comes to AB drills, the only company that I use for AB drills is Dreamwax Studios. So let me see. I think, I apologize. I'm... Okay, so I will show it to you. Is this one here so Dreamwax Studios is the go-to company that I get my wax from and for whatever reason their wax works the best with ABs for my climate um, I always have off to the side my again shocker yellow dog designs there you go um, and this is a case that they had created that holds wax so for whatever reason, Dream Wax Studio, their beeswax is the best. It's the only thing that works for me when it comes to actually placing a bee drills, but for everything else, I just use uh, the putty from Creations Moran. So yeah, I'm trying to like branch out to try other companies, but I don't know if I mentioned this, I tend to really go for companies from Canada and it just so happens that those two stuck. So anyway, number 10. What do you do with your finished diamond paintings? Do you hang them, put them in a portfolio or something else? So with finished diamond paintings, sorry, I'm like getting another color. We need this arrow. Ugh. Apologies. Okay, so with finished diamond paintings, right now I do keep them. Um, the ones that I have from Diamond Dots and Make Market brand, and of course my lovely unlicensed ones from Amazon, I have portfolios for them that I put them in. Um, I only have one diamond painting that's hanging, and that is um, what's it called? Flower Delivery by You May Art. That one is hanging on the wall, but I hung it, 
<laughs> I did not know how to hang it. So I put, well, I didn't do it. My boyfriend did it for me. He had put like nails in the wall and then off the nails I'm hanging pant hangers. And uh, I've like clipped that diamond painting up. So that one is currently hanging. Um, and then on the door to the craft room, I, again, I'm using pant hangers and I just hang whatever diamond painting I've currently finished and that one stays up until I'm done the one that I'm working on. So on the door right now is Spring Garden Gnomes, um, which will stay up until I pretty much finish Year of the Dragon. When Year of the Dragon is done, Year of the Dragon will get hung up there and Spring Garden Gnomes will go in the portfolio. But yeah, so that's how I store my finished ones. I sort of rotate them. Um, I'm thinking though that during Halloween, I'll take out some of my Halloween diamond paintings that I've completed and just hang them on the door that way. We will see, we will see. Uh, but yeah, that's typically what I do. Okay, so the next question. Why am I struggling so much with this? My phone is giving me attitude. Okay, next question. Do you like to open your kits right away or do you keep them sealed until you are ready to work on them? Okay. So I think this one answers itself. You already know, as soon as I get a kit, I open it right away. Um, now, I don't know if that's going to stay the same now that Diamond Art Club has upgraded and changed their packaging and there's no more washi tape and cover minders in it, but I honestly, need to open the kit right away. I need to see what it looks like, what the canvas is, what the drills are. So yeah, I'm gonna say I open things right away. I don't really wait for anything. Okay, number 12, and I'm gonna make this the last question because this video is getting a little on the long side. So number 12 is what is your number one unicorn kit that if it was easy to obtain, you'd love to own? So right now, I don't have a unicorn kit. Um, I have all the kits that I want right now, I have. There are some on my wish list that I don't have yet. Um, that when they do come back in stock, I would purchase them in a heartbeat. And I guess like from my wish list, my like unicorn kit is Chroma by Margaret Morales. I am obsessed with that kit. Um, when it had come out, I had other expenses, so I didn't pick it up right away. But I know as soon as that one comes back in stock, that will be like a must buy kit. But other than that, like, I don't have any unicorns of kits that are discontinued. Um, yeah. And I don't foresee Miss Holly. Like, I know Magical Arcades by Miss Holly. I'd love to pick that up eventually. But I don't see that one getting discontinued anytime soon. Simply because it's a very popular kit. And in the Diamond Art Club VIP group it is talked about as a in search of situation so i have a feeling that one will come back in stock probably i my guess is sometime in the fall or winter we will see because it does take some time but other than that like i don't have like that unicorn kit um that's been discontinued who knows that might change one day i don't know i really don't know but anyway uh so <laughs> I almost completed the section, yay. I have to keep going. I have a feeling I like mixed up some of the colors. I have a feeling, I don't know, we'll see. At least they're all different shades of brown and it's not like it's really random colors here. Uh, so this concludes this whip and chat. What I'll do is I will label this as part one and then in a second video, I will continue answering the questions just because this video is getting pretty long. But if you enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support means the world to me. Of course, if you wanna see more up-to-date progress on my diamond paintings um, and sort of anything I purchased from small shops, um, 
You can find that on my Instagram at Shine Bright Diamonds 2023. I tend to not film small shop hauls just because I don't do a lot of small shop hauls. I just pick up as I need things. So that's sort of where I post what I some of my most recent purchases are. Um, I will post the tag questions in the info, info box below. Of course, if you want to answer any of the questions in the comments, I would love that. I would love to get to know some of you a little more. Um, but yeah, there you have it. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate, like I said, to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, happy diamond painting. Bye everyone. <music>